and we are live. You already know who it is. My name is Mike Kyle, aka the Fantasy Vulture. I have over a decade worth of fantasy football experience and have continuously competed for fantasy championships over the course of the past eight seasons. Let's make it nine in 2021, but enough of me. I'm here for you on today's episode of the FB Show. We are going to continue through our 2021 NFL Draft Player Profiles, breaking down all the incoming offensive rookies in this draft class and looking at them through the lens of fantasy football before the NFL Draft takes place in just a matter of days. Up next, Mississippi State running back Kylan Hill. So if you're excited for this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Also, smash that subscribe button as well. So you never miss a video from me as we just continue to get more and more into the fantasy football season. And last but not least, you can follow me on all social media platforms at FF Vulture. Uh, the content over there will be ramping up. In fact, I'm actually looking to hire a social media editor. So if anybody has any interest for that, be sure to hit me up. My DMs are always open. And without further ado, let's just dive right in. So... If you're new here, pretty simple. We play some highlights, we talk about the player, and we just kind of break them down just a little bit. So let's get, dive right in to Kylan Hill of Mississippi State. All right. This is a, this, he's a player, first off, off the bat, that I have been very keenly paying attention to for about the past year and a half or so. I've heard the rumblings, and it was like, all right, let me at least get this guy on my radar. Let's see what he's actually about. And, buddy, does he not disappoint. I think, admittedly, he kind of fell off the map just a little bit. But, as a talent and as a prospect, he's got a lot of really nice tools that I think are going to help him translate to the next level. And let's just kind of break down his measurables real quick. So, first off, he's 22 years old. In fact, he's over 22 and a half. So, he is one of the older running backs in this draft class. He's 5'11", 214 pounds, and runs 8, 4, 5, 7, 40. And just, I really like his game. Like, you look at the highlights that he's put together, and he's very clearly, like, uberly talented. Example A, nice little hurdle there, right on cue. But he just does a lot of things really well, and there's a lot of variation, I think, in his game. Uh, he's not known for being a pass catcher, as we just saw. Um, but it is available to him if need be. Uh, but this dude is just an absolute force on the ground, and he is this really cool combination of athlete, of speed, and of power. He's a really well-rounded running back, and somebody who I'm pretty high on uh, if he lands in the right spot. But this is a guy who very well, like, that just might not matter. Uh, if he goes into a situation where there is a potential running back competition, uh, that could prove to be very beneficial for him. And I'm interested to know where a lot of these experts have that have him in regards to the running backs. Um, this running back draft class is very interesting and I've talked about before. You really have two or three tiers, but you have your top three, a gap, and then kind of everybody else. And that's just a matter of how you rank them after that. But this is a kid who... I just, I, I think he could do it. I think he can do it. What you're watching on tape, he reminds me a lot of Joe Mixon. Like, that is my comparison for him before we even go into the stats and the breakdown of him. But just looking at the way that he plays, it's very Joe Mixon X. Joe Mixon is a running back who, maybe a little bit on it like the bigger side, but still plays with like this small man's game. It's very, it's a very interesting dynamic, right? And then the other thing on top of that is that bigger dude plays small, but also just does things really well. Um, and I really like the Joe Mixon comp because of the fact that, um, also shout out to Just Bomb Production for the highlights. Um, but I really like the Joe Mixon comp because of not only what Kylan Hill does on the ground, but also because he can be used through the air but for whatever reason, maybe he just isn't, right? We all know we all know the pass catcher that Joe Mixon can be if he was given that role full time, but unfortunately, Gio Bernard was always there with him. So that was never really the case. Um, and I think we can find Kylan Hill in a situation very similar to that, where if he's called upon in that role, he can do it, but I don't expect him to necessarily get that role 
off of the bat. Now, his best season uh, was 242 carries, 1,300 rushing yards, uh, 20, uh, sorry, 23 targets, 18 receptions, and 180 receiving yards, and a total of 11 touchdowns. So this definitely is a dude who has shown the ability to handle a big workload, get it done on the ground, also punch it into the end zone multiple times, and I think that's just where I really take a liking to him. It's the plays that he's able to make and just the obviously through the ground but then also through the air um it's really fascinating again this is a guy who i've been just kind of paying close attention to uh for a bit he was pretty highly touted i believe coming out of high school but you look at what he did uh his his sophomore and junior season did not play in 2020 he actually played three games we just like nah i'm good um, before he decided to dip out, but this was a dude that absolutely could have been one of the best running backs in this draft class, and I, it's always the difficult thing, and I think I talked about this with Kenny Gainwell too, where you have these players that take that year off but with the hopes that it won't hurt their draft stock because their draft stock is as high as it can go, and God forbid an injury, right? But what happens is you always run that risk of maybe being forgotten about. Uh, and that could play, obviously, not in your favor. And I feel like maybe that's what happened with Kylan Hill. I feel like he just fell off just a little bit because he barely played in 2020. Only played three games and had 15 carries, right? So he literally had zero 2020 work. But overall, I'm really excited about him. Uh, I'm very curious to know where he, where he goes in a draft, uh, in the NFL draft. And then, obviously, based off that, we'll kind of know and gauge better based off rookies. Uh, off the, your dynasty rookie draft, excuse me, but I would say what? Third? Like, I would probably take him in the third round, like he definitely feels like a round three running back, um, assuming that you have, you know, Najee, Travis, and Javante going in that first, going in that late first, uh, early second round range, and then again, how you kind of sort these guys uh, afterwards is up to you and pretty much based upon preference. We are just flying through these highlights already. Um, that being said, um, of the players that we've watched so far, like, and I, I actually want to keep moving guys around. So, like, this is not final. If you want my final rankings, go to the website, ffvulture.com. They're all going to be over there. Um, but I like Trey Sermon more than him. I like Michael Carter more than him. Uh, I kind of get to this point now where it's between Chuba Hubbard, uh, Puka Williams, and Kylan Hill. That's where I'm kind of like, where does he slide in? Because I think that Kylan Hill is the most complete of those three guys. And honestly, he may be more complete than Michael Carter, just based off of size, too. Like, when you factor everything in, I think Kylan is maybe even a step above Michael Carter. But he's right around, like, that range. So that puts him around running back six, by and large. So those are my thoughts on Mississippi State running back. Island Hill, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe so you never miss a video from me. And let me know your thoughts on Mr. Hill in the comments section as well. Remember, people come and go, but fantasy championships are forever. And I will see you in the next video.